Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to go ahead and move into all these video requests and ideas that I have had and we are gonna chat about what's coming tomorrow. So before I get into the sale that is coming tomorrow at Bath & Body Works, I want to start by kind of looking at the past week and what sales we've had and just kind of tell you guys like if I've participated or not. Um, so Saturday and Sunday, I was in Florida. Um, they had a two day sale and it was actually on the body lotions. So I did participate in that sale, but because I was in Florida, um, all my body lotions are actually with my husband's uncle um, and they should have started to come home today. I think they stopped to stay the night, but hopefully Sunday we can pick those up and then I can do my haul on my body lotions. But it was a very, very good deal um, and I had a coupon on top of it. Then on Wednesday we had a mini sale. I hope I'm going in the right order. I believe it was Wednesday. We had the mini sale and I always look forward to the mini sales and not necessarily for the actual minis unless I'm actually like hunting them down. Um, I did not use my coupon even though I participated but I only got three things and if you've watched my channel and you know what I love in the mini section you'll probably already know the three items that I got but I am actually going to pick up my order tomorrow. I called the store just to verify that it would still be okay because I ordered it on the 16th today's the 18th and I wanted to make sure that like the three days didn't include the day that I ordered them they said that I'm good until Sunday I can pick them up Sunday but I'm gonna get them tomorrow on Saturday then on Thursday which was yesterday and it did go into today as well they did a two-day um 1350 three wick candle sale so all three wick candles right now are 1350 um that is a little bit of a price jump i believe they were 12.95 um just a couple of days ago um which obviously would have been a better deal but we're just talking pocket change at that point um and i had kind of regretted not going in on that deal but i'm was really like trying to save my coupons and my coupon codes because you can't use a code online if you have to use a uh like promo like say they do a hand soap sale it would be like clean hands so then you can't use a coupon code um so i skipped out the at the 1295 price point but since 1350 rolled back around and my coupons are going to expire this weekend i went ahead and i did play well i placed a pickup order it's a very small order as well i'm really trying to save for sas because i've been doing so good um and really only picking up stuff that makes sense in my collection um and with the deals and the coupons so i only made a small order and then that moves us into tomorrow's sale because today's Friday. I didn't place an order and I wasn't able to go pick up my stuff because we had a snow squall warning. Um, I had to stay late at work to take care of something. I love being a manager <laughs> sometimes. Um, but I had to handle a situation and I didn't clock out until two hours after my scheduled shift. And Jared was worried about me getting home safe. There was a pile up on the highway, an accident. Um, it was not there when I was on the highway, but very scary. The roads were very slick. It was like 29 degrees on my drive home. So very cold and dark and yeah. So I made it home safe, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, so I'll pick it up tomorrow and it works because of tomorrow's sale that I, I think I have a plan. Um, I want to do an online order and a pickup or yeah, a pickup in store online order and a in-store purchase because I know specifically my store and I imagine it's probably other people's stores as well. When you do a pickup order, they don't necessarily show everything online that they actually have in store. And I know my standalone Bath & Body Works, they have soaps galore. So I know that like the three pages on Bath & Body Works website is not equivalent to all the stuff they have. So I think I'm going to do both since I have to go to the store anyway to pick up my stuff. So tomorrow's sale, I believe it is also a two day sale. It will go into Sunday. Hand soaps are going to be $2.95. Now that is already a great deal. You hear most YouTubers say that they don't buy soap unless they're $2 and under. And 
I try to abide by that. Sometimes I'll get one here and there for like the 350 price point uh, if there's something I really, really want because I'm not a big soap person. Um, it's just Jared and I in this house and we <laughs> take like a month to two months to finish up one soap. And if you've noticed in my empties, I haven't had a freaking soap empty in forever because when my friend dogs had our dogs during the honeymoon, um, we were almost finished with one and I came home and it was gone. And I'm assuming she threw it away. I don't wanna ask and be weird. Like, where's my empty container? <laughs> like, it's fine. Um, I don't even know if I can remember what soap it was. It was a, a cleansing, right? Or gentle gel, whatever they call them, the gentle gel ones. Um, and then I had a, um, oh, what was it? It was an apple one, pumpkin apple. I had pumpkin apple also in the cleansing gel and I had that upstairs. Well, when I started using it, I noticed that the pump was broken. Um, it must have been just like a manufacturing issue or something. It didn't appear broken, but when you would try to push down, nothing would come out. So we ended up just like taking the top off and like rubbing the straw onto our hand to like use it that way. And then the straw fell out and on the ground. So then we were just kind of dumping it. And now our whole bathroom's tore apart and I'm pretty sure the people threw it away. <laughs> So I just can't get through a freaking soap and when I do, they're gone because that one was like almost freaking empty. So it soap is just not a thing that I need like a huge quantity of and I already have a good bit. Um, I don't know exactly how many, I'd say probably like 50. Um, I do use hand soap a lot for gifts because my mom uses it, my friends use it, my mother-in-law uses it. Who doesn't use Bath & Body Works hand soap? I mean, like, if they're gonna buy one product, it's probably a hand soap, then maybe three wet candles. Um, so I try to stick to stuff when it's either a really, really good deal at an outlet or at SAS, or if I just really, really love the scent, or if I need Christmas gifts, which I have enough stock up right now of scents that I don't really care about because I got them for such a good deal that I'm okay gifting them because I only go through one hand soap, let's say a month. You know, I'm gonna, I guess we just chew on tags now. We're not gonna do that latte. <laughs> go play with a toy. Um, if I'm gonna use a hand soap for that month, it's gonna be one that I like. So I'm okay gifting the ones that I'm not a fan of. And it's not that they smell bad, they're just not something that I wanna use when I have stuff that I love. Um, so $2.95 is the base price point, and that's that's really good. Compared to the $3.50, it's a good deal, especially right before the holidays. But if you have a 25% off and they're not requiring a code for the sale, you can use a coupon. You can use it in store if you have the actual mailer or in the app because I just noticed I had a new coupon on the app yesterday. It was a free gift with a $10 purchase. So not like a percentage off, but a coupon's a coupon. I'm going to appreciate it. Um, but I do have a leftover 25% off, which will make the hand soaps $2.21. So that's why I wanted to film this video because that's like one of the best deals. I should have calculated what a hand soap goes for at SAS price. I think it's like 227, 26. Whatever 75% off of like 850 or 750 would be. I'm thinking that this is really close. No, it might be a dollar 87. I don't know. But if you think even if it's a dollar 87 and you're paying 221, I would rather pay that 40 cents for ones that I love because usually the ones at SAS are like boring <laughs> like it's usually like watermelon lemonade cucumber melon like the ones they have all the time that are kind of basic and generic the good ones sell out um so I actually pulled right here beside me a couple of my well really most of my um fall and winter hand soaps and then some ones I just scrolled real quick on the website um before I started to film this to see what they even have online and they have some right now priced at 325 like they're on sale um but tomorrow obviously there'll be a better deal but they're like more summery ones so i just pulled them anyway uh so yeah we'll just get into it and kind of and i took some notes as well um so let's go through the ones that i have first and then i'll talk about my notes 
Okay, so one that I saw they have online, and this is one that's more of like a summer scent, is your berry cool berry waffle cone. This was the exact packaging that they have online right now. I just checked. Um, so I haven't used this, so I can't necessarily say, but this had a lot of hype, like in a bad way. People said it smelled like vomit on their hands and they hated it. I know sounds so great. It has notes of sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla. So even though I don't know about the hand soap, I obviously still bought it. But that's because I love Berry Waffle Cone in the candle, in body care, and the hand creams. So, I mean, how bad can it really be? It does smell a little different out of the container than, like, the body care does. The body care has more of that sweet gourmand. I get maybe a little bit more berry, which I think kind of throws it off. But I have it. I do really like that one, and it's the only one I have. Okay, next, this is Strawberry Pound Cake. This is the more summery packaging. I don't think they have this one anymore, but I'm sure if you went to your store, they're going to have some form of strawberry pound cake. Um, and while I'm talking about this, uh, I do prefer the foaming hand soaps. Um, you just get more product. I feel like you get more usage out of it um, and they just feel better on your hands. When I use a cleansing gel, I know I probably put too much. I like squirt like two or three times, but it like gets caught in between my fingers even when I'm done rinsing and it really grosses me out. So the foaming is just easier to like suds up and clean your hands. Strawberry pound cake is just an amazing scent. You can't go wrong with it. It's great for gift giving. Next is Beloved Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. You can't go wrong with this scent. I absolutely love this. Um, this is one that Sonia actually uh, gifted me. Um, this probably doesn't have the same packaging. It comes in different forms, but I love Berry Waffle Co. and I have it going in my car right now. It is like my all-time favorite fall scent, so I would definitely recommend this one either for yourself or for gifts. Um, I have a Toasted Vanilla Chai. I got a couple of these at the outlet. I think they were like $2. Um, they were a really good deal, and then I had a coupon. This one's from 2020. This packaging I wasn't crazy about. Toasted uh, vanilla chai just is like a coffee scent um without coffee in it yeah it's just whipped vanilla spun sugar and winter spice so like a spicy vanilla but it is still pretty gourmand um I put a lot more hype on this in my mind than it actually is it's kind of basic and plain but it's still a good one and it's an easy one I feel like to gift um I didn't see this one online but I might have just overlooked it this is leaves I love any of this like raised packaging. Um, I don't, oh, no, I don't have it. Well, those hand soaps that have like the lines, like the horizontal lines that wrap around and they're like this plain sleek white barn packaging. I love those kinds of hand soaps. They just look so classy. They look so nice in the bathroom, like without having this, you know, chintzy kind of I mean, they're, sometimes they're really cute, but sometimes they're just kind of boring. I do prefer the White Barn packaging. So Leaves is an amazing fall scent. Uh, I don't have scent notes on here, but if you see this one, it's a easy people pleaser. And you have to think too, like if you have company over all the time, it's not necessarily always like what you love. You got to kind of like, if you have a specific guest bathroom, like a half bath, you maybe want to put something that's more universal. Um, next, and this is a pretty universal one. This is Black Cherry Merlot. This is one that you can get all year round. Um, I have this in the gentle gel, the cleansing and the foaming. Um, I got these ones just recently at the outlet for $2.00. I have a newfound love for Black Cherry Merlot. It's not really new anymore, but I used to hate the scent. I burned through a candle and it ruined it for me. And then I fell in love with it. So I got a couple of these when they were $2. And this is just such a good scent. This is, oh, it's so good. This is such a perfect kitchen scent or in a bathroom where you're going to have a ton of people. I personally would not put this in like my upstairs bathroom because that's where I want like the gourmands and the sweet kind of like off the wall scents that maybe other people don't like or you don't want to smell on your hands after like washing dishes or something like I'd rather wash my hands with that and go to bed. Black cherry merlot would definitely be a kitchen scent for me. This is a new one I believe from this year. This is autumn s'mores. This has notes of crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. I have not used this yet. It smells very, very good, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. 
I've watched some empties videos and people will give their reviews and they love this. So I would recommend this one if you've never tried it and you like s'mores or the smell of s'mores. Um, I think they'll still have this one, but maybe not. I saw the one pink version of this on the website, but this is from Halloween. So that's why it might be there. It might not. Um, this is Stardust Magic. This has notes of Celestial Caramel Swirl, Mystical Vanilla, and Secret Musk. Other than the bat on it, you can't really tell it's Halloween. It's just like a black hand soap. So if this fits your aesthetic in your bathroom, like you could even peel this off just to have a plain black faceted packaging. And it's just beautiful and sleek. Um, I just watched somebody's review on this. Um, it was in their empties. And they said that it smelled super good at first and then like the dry down on your hands was a little off. I think it would smell great, but I could also see how it's a little odd. Um, but I like when Bath & Body Works goes out of their comfort zone. Um, next is another staple. This is Marshmallow Fireside. I also got this for like $2 um, at an outlet. Uh, Jared loves this one. I think I have two more in my back stock. This has Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and Fire Roasted Vanilla. Definitely like a more masculine scent, but good for a guest bathroom or, you know, your own private bathroom. Okay, White Pumpkin. I didn't see this one on the website, but this has notes of Ginger White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Warm Blended Spices. This is a really good one, but this is that packaging I'm talking about. Like, it's just kind of boring. I mean, if the liquid was like clear it might look cuter I don't really know all right now this is the type of packaging I fall for like hardcore and they have some of these right now so this one's an older one from 2021 but this one's in frozen lake I didn't see frozen lake specifically but I'm sure they have it it's a classic winter scent um I do know they have this out in the three wick so I don't see why they wouldn't have it in a hand soap this has notes of frozen cypress, eucalyptus, and juniper berry. Juniper berry is a scent note that kind of is either way with me. It can be really good or really bad. Latte. I think she's chewing on something. Um, but these little risen, ri what's the word? <laughs> like these snowflakes that are like popped out from the packaging. They're just so cute. I cannot get over this packaging. I absolutely love it. Um, oh, I wish I had like every scent that came in this type of packaging. And I think they have one that's similar now. Let me check here before. Okay. Okay. They have to. Okay. So one of the last sales that they had on hand soap, the, like the 350 or 395, whatever, I picked this one up because I love this scent. Um, I'll just show it. I have it in two different packagings. So the, okay, this is the one I was like waiting to talk about this because I love this, but I'll just go ahead now. Coconut Mint Drop. I have extreme FOMO from not getting this in body care. I wasn't into Bath and Body Works when they released Coconut Mint Drop in body care and I'm not paying the outrageous Mercari fees. Um, this does have the same packaging and this one's from 2022. This one's from 2021. So they do have this packaging out right now. I should have made a list of all of the scents they have in this, but definitely get this packaging. It's just, it's so pretty. Coconut Mint Drop though, has notes of white coconut, ice peppermint, and winter musk. I got this one, the older one, from 2021 in the cleansing gel, gentle gel. I can't get that right from the life of me. These were $2 at the outlet. I bought the last two. Then they re-released it, and I think they have it in both forms on the website right now, but I would definitely say this one because it's super cute. I think the new gentle gel has like a different you know, like sticker on it. But this packaging, like you can't tell me this isn't absolutely beautiful. So I will definitely be buying a ton more of these tomorrow. I'm so excited. Okay, I have three more physical hand soaps before I talk about the ones on my list. So this is a new one this year. This is Fall Festival. This has notes of fresh pumpkin, spiced cinnamon, and sweet maple apple butter. The apple butter note is so amazing. It really like amps this up and makes it something special and I really really enjoy it. Um, I want to get this in the filming but side note the uh, gentle gel is actually cleansing gel. Are they different? Okay gentle gel and cleansing gel. I'm not losing it. So those are the there I have both of those here. It's the luxe one that is like more rare. Um 
they do still make it in like uh, black cherry merlot because I have one of those. They make it in like uh, warm vanilla sugar. They have a couple like basic scents in the luxe one, uh, but this one's a cleansing. I will definitely be on the look for this tomorrow because I really like this. But anyways, what I'm saying is cleansing gel. Anything that's not foaming, my mother-in-law loves because she decants it into a mason jar hand soap thing from... I don't know where she got it, but she loves to do that. And she likes these ones. So I have a couple uh, more summery, uh, like vanilla ones set aside for her for Christmas, but I was gonna gift her fall festival and I'm gonna hold on to it. One that I might gift her though, and this is another fall staple, this is flannel. Um, this has notes of crisp autumn air, heirloom mahogany and cedar wood mahogany. Any men's scent in the hand soap is also a good one to go with. Um, and then this one, I don't know if they still have this. I got this probably a month or two ago, so I haven't, like, checked. And I there's another one I bought with this that I didn't pull out of my collection. This is Blueberry Donut. Definitely, definitely, 100% gift to this. Buy this for yourself if you see it tomorrow or Sunday. This has notes of fresh blueberries, warm glazed donut, and a hint of cinnamon. This packaging, number one, is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The, what? oh my gosh, let me close the door. We currently have a hole going through the second floor down to the first, so I can't let Brew out of his crate or he'll fall through the floor. Latte doesn't care to go in that room, so she's fine. Um, anyways, so that's why they're down there fighting because she wants to play with them after the video, after the video. Okay, but this packaging and the scent and everything about it is beautiful. I bought like four of these, but I would definitely get more tomorrow if I see them. But with this one, I, they actually released Raspberry Jam. Um, I almost said jam donut, but that's the body care. It's just raspberry jam and it also smells really good. The packaging's a little bit more boring, um, but that's a good one too if you, if that sounds like something you would like. Okay, now I'm gonna go off my notes here. It is so cold in my house and I'm still in my scrubs because our shower's not done yet. I thought it was gonna be done, so we have to go to my mother-in-law's to shower. Yay. Okay. So fall festival, I did make a note that it is sold out online right now. So I really hope they restock that tomorrow. But if not, go in store if that sounds like something you would like. That apple butter note, I'm telling you, it's worth it. <laughs> okay, winter candy apple. So when we were in Florida, Jared found out that he loves winter candy apple. And I'm so excited to know that that's a scent he likes because he usually doesn't pick up on scents, especially like the women's scents, like, or like the other side of Bath and Body Works. He really only gets like the men's stuff and goes about his business. Um, he says that I smell nice, but there's never like a specific like, oh my gosh, I love that scent. Like he's kind of just like, you spray a lot of fine fragrance mist and you make me like sneeze. <laughs> like he doesn't really care. But winter candy apple he loves. And I love winter candy apple. I love apple body care. So winter up winter candy apple and the hand soap are is definitely on my list for tomorrow. I will definitely get one. And it is also a good gift to give, as well as vanilla bean noel and um twisted peppermint. I don't have those two on my list. Um, we'll see if I pick them up, but I'm not really looking to get those. Um, next is Frosted Cranberry. I think I didn't pull that one, but I believe I do have one of those in the, uh, Gentle Gel. Can I help you? <laughs> Frosted Cranberry, I don't think I need any more, but I would definitely get them if you're looking to gift to maybe somebody older, somebody who just wants hand soap they're not like super excited about bath and body works like frosted cranberry is a very not generic because it smells very good it's an easy scent to give um and people will usually like it i like it uh, mary cookie mary cookie's been a little i don't know all over the place sometimes whatever form it's in body care hand lotion kind of like disappoints and then i'll use something else and i'm like oh my gosh this is the 
like Merry Cookie Christmas cookies that I freaking love and they like do this weird thing with their formula and sometimes it has like a lemon note in it it's real weird um so I would be interested to get it in a hand soap and then if I don't like it I'll just gift it but I mean I, I'm a gourmand lover so I probably will get it <laughs> and it is in like that horizontal striped packaging which I do like and it's like a nice beige color um fresh sparkling snow I want to say that's in like the um the snowflake packaging but I don't really remember um that would be a good gift iced blue lavender I don't know the notes of that but it sounds very intriguing to me so I really hope they have that in my store tomorrow I would love to test that out and maybe buy that one um we already talked about strawberry pound cake Peppermint Sugar Cookie. It is an online exclusive, so if you're placing an order for just online solely, um, I would try to get it. Oh, I do have a Peppermint Sugar Cookie. It's like one of my favorite ones. It has like a cute little dog laying on a sofa from last Christmas. I didn't pull that one. I knew I was going to forget some, but it's so cold in here. I just wanted to like sit down, film this, and like move on. Um, I would get it if I was making an online order, but I am trying not to do that with like their shipping costs going up. It's just too much. Um, currently, I am using a peppermint sugar cookie hand sanitizer pocket back in my car. It smells different than I thought it was going to. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. The peppermint is a little bit too light, but twisted peppermint's like too heavy. But the cookie note is also kind of like a baseline generic sugar cookie. It's not really like an amazing gourmand sweet bakery. It's kind of like mediocre peppermint, mediocre sugar cookie. Like I feel like if they like amped it up, like both of them, maybe it would be better. I don't know. I would still get it if I was placing an online order, but we'll. S I need to try the hand soap, but I'll probably hoard that one for a while. Next is Christmas Coconut Brittle. I don't have the notes written down, but that one's supposed to be in store, and I will definitely, definitely get that one. I'm very intrigued by that one, um, so we'll see. One kind of hand soap that I don't have and I've never tried is anything with, like, balsam um, or any, like, Christmas tree type of scents. Uh, I've never tried. So I have mahogany balsam on this list, but I want to kind of smell around the store tomorrow. I do work tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna go right after work, so at like 3.30. I want to smell around some of the Christmas tree scents to see if that's something I would enjoy. Um, I have never had one in hand soap, so I don't really know what I would go with. So, oh, I could see myself definitely buying a Christmas tree scent. Um, Sweet Whiskey, I need that in body care. I have a mini right now, and that is like on my SAS list. I only have a Fine Fragrance Mist mini, but they do have that in the faceted um like this packaging um with like the facets all over it they have and it's like a clear purple it's very pretty I'll probably get that one for my mom as well because she loves purple and like it's just such a pretty packaging so sweet whiskey is on my list elderflower gin fizz that's a very interesting one for me I've never well I feel like I might have smelled it because it stood out to me when I first noticed it um, but I definitely want to smell that one tomorrow and I'd probably get it. I think it has a cute packaging too. Um, that's it. Oh, two more. Uh, so I, I don't like orange notes for Christmas. I know orange is like a Christmas fruit. I don't like that. <laughs> um, so like bright Christmas morning, that's what's in the new body care not a big fan. I don't love fruity citrus scents in Christmas. I'm sure it's like a nice refresh to some people, but just not for me. I'd rather use like a cranberry or something fruity holiday than like citrus holiday, if that makes sense. So bright Christmas morning, if you like that, get that, but I'm going to stay away from it. But glistening gumdrop. It caught my eye when I was scrolling online and then I read the notes of it and it said smells like holiday gummies well then the scent notes were like orange and uh spices and I'm just like like those little like in the big 
tubs and they're like little gumdrops with sugar on them but they're like a spicy fruity I would rather eat them than smell them but when I thought about the taste of those Ugh. I'm going to stay away from that one. If I see it tomorrow, I'm going to smell it, but I don't think that is going to be for me at all. But it just kind of made me laugh like what came to mind when I thought about those little like gumdrops. Not good, but if you like them, like that's a really interesting, cool new hand soap. Um, yeah, okay. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and post this so you guys can start thinking about the sale tomorrow. Um, I would definitely say participate. It's a good deal. You can make a little basket or even use the cellophane from Bath & Body Works. And even if like you're really budgeting this Christmas and you can't spend a lot on your gifts, if you just like put three of these together or four or two or just one and you wrap it in that cellophane and give it to if you just do one and you are like a mom and you have kids in school like if you just want to do one and give it to each of your kids teachers or to the bus drivers or if I work in a long-term care facility and I have like there's like four of us managers four or five of us um and then like my my two higher up managers like I could give them all one of these and it wouldn't be weird like you're like gifting like this huge big Bath and Body Works like or huge gift of any sort you're just like saying thank you or like Merry Christmas or like you know I care about you I appreciate you whatever with just one hand soap you pay two dollars and twenty cents or ninety cents and it's just a little thing to make somebody happy and Merry Christmas and yeah, so I could see me giving some of these. I really do want to do like a gift giving video, specifically my Bath and Body Works stuff. Um, like who I'm in my family, life, friends, whatever, workplace that I'm gifting Bath and Body Works to and kind of like wrap them up and show and explain. So that's on my list. I did actually make a list of what I want to film. But yeah, please let me know down below if there's anything that I missed that I need to be looking for that you guys love and recommend and you think by my preferences what you think I would like. Um, I'm very open to try. It's $2.20. Like I said, if I don't like it off initial smell and I buy it and, or whatever happens, I can always gift it or just give it to my friends. Um, my friends are starting to get their own houses and apartments and stuff like that. So I love gifting for literally just like no reason. Like, hey, you came over this weekend. Like, here, let me give you this. Let me give you that. I do that all the time. I love doing that. So yeah, like I said, leave comments what you guys are looking for, what you're buying, if you have a budget, or if you're not shopping at all. Um, but if you do, or just, just have a good weekend. <laughs> okay, guys? All right, bye.